Hey, this is Marie, Random Oakey Farms. My friend Brittany gave me a call. She's getting her horse freeze branded today. And she knows that's something I'm interested in and I would like to learn more about it for myself. So I hope you guys wanna learn about it too. So come along and enjoy. So we're here at the vet clinic and uh, my friend Brittany, she's getting her horse freeze branded and we are looking into it ourselves. And I just wanted to have you tell a little bit about yourself and the process. You bet. Uh, my name's Damon Winborn. I live over at Atwood, Oklahoma, which is about 30 miles east of Ada. Um, the freeze branding process is a really neat process for multiple reasons. One, it's a great way of identifying our horses. Um, it's a very less evasive way of doing it doing the brands other than fire brands uh the old way they used to fire brand everything mm -hmm. you need to brand up get it hot and and brand your horses now we use a copper brass alloy uh, we use liquid nitrogen mm -hmm. or you can use dry ice and alcohol um, i find that the liquid nitrogen does a better job it gets to 320 degrees below zero so when you freeze the horse's skin it's going to do one of two things depending on the length if you hold it for more than 15, more than 10, 12 seconds, you're gonna burn the hairs completely off. They'll never come back. If you hold for 10 or 12 seconds, you're nine times out of 10, you're gonna get a white hairs coming back. Uh, you basically frostbite the hairs. So they come back. Um, I have multiple brands. I do brands, everything from little bitty three and a half inch brands to cowboy hats, to letters, to numbers, whatever a, a ranch wants. Um, the question I get a lot of times is, is do I have to register my brand? In the state of Oklahoma, you do not. Mm -hmm. state of Oklahoma, you can put it anywhere you want. You basically can do artwork on a horse if that's what you so choose to do. Uh, I've done like this particular cowboy hat. I've done feathers hanging off of it. I've done letters around it. It just depends on really what you want. Well, I know for us, our biggest problem is like we don't put our animals in the front of our property because we have had people mm -hmm. stop and steal them. You know, just a few years so, ago, I actually branded some horses. Uh, I branded an $80,000 barrel horse. Mm -hmm. It actually got stole. They found the horse. Do Now, if you do register your brand, the good thing about registering your brand is if your horse gets stolen, you can mm -hmm. actually call the police. Mm -hmm. And they will actually send out a, a bulletin to all of the different sale barns. And they will actually alert the sale barns that, hey, we're looking for this brand on this color horse that's been stolen. And the sale barns will be alert and aware to it. And that's why as ourselves we're interested in it and that it's less painful it is less pain you know it, there is some pain to it yes don't ever let anybody yeah. to you it's you're basically freezing the skin if you've had a frostbite or a freeze burn mm -hmm. it you are it there is an instant of pain but with it being cold it instantly kills that pain after a few moments they are going to move they are going to squirm mm -hmm. a little bit but it's no worse than me or you getting a tattoo yeah it's the tattoo in a, in a freeze brand is pretty much. I've done myself. Yeah. I've freeze branded my own self. Oh, no. Just <laughs> yeah. Because I figure if my horses are going to go through it, I'm going to go through it. Yeah. And basically, it, it swells up, it bubbles up, and it goes away and it scabs. Yeah. Um, but that marking is there. They, they have to do pretty dramatic things to change a freeze brand. Okay. Um, but I, I travel a lot of different places. Um, How far do you travel? I have traveled as far as Wyoming. Mm -hmm. I've traveled as far as... I just got back from Arizona a few weeks ago. Oh, wow. I was out cool. there. We've done several out there. Now, I do have a minimum. I do like to have... If I'm going to go that far, then mm -hmm. there's got to be... It's got to make the money worth a while. Mm -hmm. But if you've got enough horses, yeah, I'm going to go and, wherever. And where's... How, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? They can get a hold of me on Facebook mm -hmm. uh, at Damon Winborn. Okay. Or they can go to Damon Winborn Professional Rodeo Announcer. Okay. You can go there and find me on either one of those pages or Lazy D Services. Okay. Uh, but Damon Winborn Facebook page is probably the easiest way. Uh, I'll make sure and put a link yeah, in the description. Yeah. That's good. All the alcohol does just clean it. Uh, it gets all the dirt and the grime off of it pretty much. I'll spray it two or three times just to get, make sure I get all the dirt and grime off of it. And then after I get all the dirt and grime, and then the alcohol is then used for basically allowing closer contact to the skin so that the brand really does a good job. 
no different than like if you are getting a tattoo they do clean your skin really well that's basically what we're doing we're cleaning the skin taking the hair off and allowing good penetration i know i know so why do we twitch just as a kind of take their mind off what i'm doing it's basically um the dopamines in their brain will take their thoughts off what I'm doing. Because uh, I think a lot of people think it's cruel not realizing that doing it's, this it's, it's is tricking tricking his brain. Right. It's safety for me. It's safety for the horse. Uh, it's not me and me. It's, it's mama getting a hold of your ear. If mama gets a hold of your ear just a little bit, you kind of straighten up and pay attention. Yeah. Um, do you need me to get up here and hold nope. his head real quick? And that's with no sedation. No sedation. Nothing at all. And at the same time, keeping him a little bit of pain for some for safety. Pain. I mean, it's, it, there's no more pain to that than there is a tattoo. Yeah. If you're going to get a tattoo, you're going to suffer. And 99% of the people in this world got a tattoo. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's no more suffering from that. Now, it's going to fade away. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen is, you'll notice it's already kind of shrinking down. Yeah. The lightning bolt is gone. Mm -hmm. The cross will leave here in just a moment. And then in about 10, 15 minutes, it's going to puff back up. It'll be really big and puffed. Okay. Uh, you've seen a couple of the other horses that we did. Yeah. They were already puffed up. This one's puffed. It'll puff in about, oh, 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It'll puff back up and it'll go away. About three months, about three weeks, four weeks, it'll scab up. Mm -hmm. Once it scabs up, all the scabs come off. Then at that point in time, once the scabs come off, the white hairs. This particular little bay horse will have a white. That, yeah. that brand will be the color of just like that dot in the middle of his forehead is. Okay. That bright, that white. Okay. That, for how long? For life. For life. Yeah. It, it'll, be, wow. it'll be there for life. Because I was curious. I wanted to see how the horse would re would react uh -huh. and that you can you know yeah uh, he's see, really just he's just like okay there's it's, something it's weird a, there and but that's about it but that's it there's no there's no major that's, major trauma yeah. to that wow that's crazy how it's already yeah it's faded away yeah wow you're such a good pony Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Pretty cool. What size uh, blade are you using? Forty. Surgical. You want to try to go as close to the skin as possible. You want to try to get down to the skin so that, and then I use alcohol, 91% alcohol, to make contact with the skin. That way it gets that contact even closer to the skin. I want him. As I am. I tell him if you ever want to sell him, I want him. Hey, anybody can ride him too. Perfect. Hey, he's dandy. Perfect. He's the kind of horse. Clean it up just a hair. He's standing there. Like, you know, so this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Oh, wow. And 
this is the liquid knocker. Why is it boiling? Because what it is, it's 320 degrees below zero. Mm -hmm. And it's basically freezing it. But it's dropping it, it's dropping the brass to the actual temperature. That's very interesting. 320 degrees below zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here, Joe. Ten, eleven. And this is done with no sedation. Just a twitch. Hey guys, so we are back from the vet clinic and we watched uh, Brittany's horse getting freeze branded and some other ones. And one thing that I was really interested about is seeing if it really hurts less. And one thing that you could tell is when the horses were getting freeze branded, it was almost like you could tell it was a little discomfort. The way the horses react was really good. I can't even. I can't. He's, y'all, you got to see. We're trying to record this. We're trying to record this. Yes. Uh huh. He's like, hey. Yeah. What are we doing? He wants me to scratch his lip right here. Yeah. He's like, could you just scratch me? So. <laughs> yeah. Could you be so, any more on top of me, Jack? Jack? Yeah, so this is behind the scenes trying to record stuff. I always have an animal over my shoulder. Yeah, always. Mm -hmm. It's them pushing me. Yeah. Because I'm trying to hold. So if you see the camera ever do this. You know why. It's the animal. Yeah. Is he just loving it? He is. He's loving I it. I feel him melting more and more weight on me. <laughs> I feel like he's going to fall. <laughs> Uh, but like this is the example of why we would want to get stuff branded. We don't want our animals to get stolen. Not Jack, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows. He, he doesn't, doesn't even. Know. He's a mess. Okay. <laughs> I think he's just putting more and more weight. Oh, he's a mess. Jack, Jack. <laughs> All right, back to work. Um, attempting now he has his face in front of her. <laughs> no, <geez. laughs> okay, sorry, yeah, sorry. We'll work done. Okay, we're attempting to get it done. But anyways, back to the freeze branding. One thing that I liked about the freeze branding is I really liked the way uh, Damon worked with them with freeze branding. He really read um, horse body language well on what discomfort was the right amount. So yes, there was discomfort. You can see in the video, like the horse, horse moving their shoulder a little bit. But other than discomfort, that's about it. Um, I feel like it's a cost efficient um, to uh, get them freeze branded, to give them an identifying mark. Oh my goodness, he is so rotten. Yes, yeah. So yeah, and it hurts less than uh, hot branding. Oh my goodness, y'all. Just because she stopped scratching them. <laughs> so, and the other thing is that we have been hit in, before and had people steal our animals out of the front. So that's one of the reasons we don't keep them back there. We want our animals to be a target. So we're, we're, we're doing our best. That's what we're doing. And trying to make a more educated and informed decision on Jack Jack. Huh. Oh my goodness. He is so rotten. I hope you guys um, enjoyed coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed the randomness and also learning a little bit uh, with us today. Also Thursday, we are going to be checking the eggs that we got from the Eldridge fam and see how many are developing and we can look at them in the shell. We're going to be doing it on Thursday as live. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like uh, this video, and if you would like to see more from us, subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy our randomness. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.